Hi, this is an instructional video for students looking to register in SAIT dual credit programs using Apply Alberta. This is the Apply Alberta website. The first thing to note is at the top of the page where it says that a My Alberta Digital ID basic account is required to access Apply Alberta. You do not need a verified My Alberta Digital ID account only a basic account. So once you get to this page and you've made a note of that, you click apply now. This then takes you to the before you start page. It's important to read the following points uh, so that you're prepared to complete your application. The things you will need are your My Alberta Digital ID basic account. In order to set that up, you will need to have your Alberta student number, you will also need to have the Canadian high schools that you have attended or are currently attending, as well as the courses and grades you have achieved as part of your high school education. Point five does say on the page that you need a credit card in order to pay the application fee. For dual credit students, there is no application fee, so no credit card will be required. Once you click the Apply Now button, it takes you to the My Alberta Digital ID login page. If you do not already have a My Alberta Digital ID, you'll need to create an account. When setting up a new My Alberta Digital ID account, it is important to remember that the student's personal and contact information is entered, especially things like email addresses, where we recommend that it's the personal email address used as opposed to a school email address. Pre-employment students should take note that they will need this account again at the end of the program when they come to apply for their AIT exams. We recommend using an easy to remember and identify username for the My Alberta Digital ID. There are links at the relevant pages to look up the Alberta student number if applicants are unsure. It is important at the end of the process to check the email address used and that the link is clicked to confirm the account. It's only a basic account that is required, but it is important that the email address is confirmed. Once a basic account has been set up, this is what the page looks like. It's important to see right down the bottom on the right hand side, there's a link to the Apply Alberta. This will take you back to the Apply Alberta website. This is the Apply Alberta page once all of the personal information has been correctly filled in. All the green ticks there are on the side. That is the first step once you get to the Apply Alberta page is to ensure that all of the personal information sections are filled out com completely and accurately. Once all of those green check marks have been given, you can then click Select Institution at the bottom of the list. You'll then see Southern Alberta Institute of Technology on the list of post-secondary institutions. And this will take you to a page that looks something like this. It'll ask you to select an application type. There is a drop down menu at the bottom of the page there. You will either need to put dual credit if you are taking pre employment or pharmacy, or if you are taking any other dual credit course or program, you will need to select dual credit open studies. Sometimes students will select part time and not be able to find the course they're looking for. It is really important that we select dual credit option either dual credit or open, dual credit open studies in order to find the correct program. If at any point after this stage, your application is interrupted or you accidentally click back and cannot find the page that you were originally on, you can navigate back to this Apply Alberta main screen. Below the additional information checkbox that you have already completed, there is a My Activities section. 
and you can select the Manage My Application Activities. Here there will be a list of any applications that were interrupted and it will give you the opportunity to either resume the application that was interrupted or to stop the application that was interrupted. If, you, if the application was interrupted because an error was made and you don't wish to continue that application, you can click stop and this will show as cancelled. If you then wish to continue with a corrected application, you can then start a new application. We hope you have found this instructional video helpful. If you'd like to contact us or if you need assistance with any of the above, please contact us at dual.credit at sate.ca. We look forward to welcoming you as SAIT students.